Alright everybody, so I'm going to show you some motion tracking real quick and uh, take a look at a couple other things. The last few videos I've been stabilizing footage, so this time we're going to track it. And what I've done is to bring in one of my stabilized renders. So we're going to be working from that. This was stabilized on the number 4 here. Render should be done in just a second. So yes, it has been. The reason why I render stabilized plates is that you can only stabilize a plate once. So if I decide later that I don't like to stabilize, I can stabilize a different point somewhere else, and I can always revert to the original whenever I wanted without losing the information. Just something I do. Probably not everybody does, if anybody at all. But you can motion track a plate to all sorts of crazy ends. Anything in the plate can be tracked generally as long as it has a distinct shape. The more distinct the shape or highlights, the better. So, without ado, so here we got the stabilized on the floor track. I would like to put the blue screen in here just because I want to. So we'll select both of the color range and spill suppressor from this footage and paste it over here and we'll drag the blue screen in as well and the blue screen I use just to show off the fact that it's not the original green I had and if you can see in here there's a lot of noise in the alpha so let's take a look at that real quick turn the blue screen off and even YouTube's compression will probably show off a whole pile of uh, clouds over here basically around this engine and down in here especially. I'm guessing this is a highlight off the wall. So this is one reason why a really perfect wall can be absolutely ruined by bad lighting but a bad wall like I have can mostly be saved with really good lighting and this shows me that I need to tweak mine just a little bit to help eliminate that spot. So, getting back to the motion tracking, what is that good for? That's good for matching post effects to their uh, original footage, and it's used all the time for everything in every show, video, or movie you've uh, seen in the last years. So in this case, what I want to do, uh, I think I mentioned that my project for this shot is to turn it into a just a simple visual effect shot lit up. So that means putting blinking lights, the bridge dome, the bussards, and over here there's definitely a bank of hull lights and one or three lights up front. Uh, there may be in these last couple frames, I may need to put another blinking light underneath. Yeah, definitely there I may as well. It's either red or green and I think whites are on top or it's whites on the bottom and red and green on top. Either way, uh, let's get to it. So tracking footage is just as simple as stabilizing it. It's kept right in the same menu and it even has the same control panel here. So while with stabilized footage you apply it to itself in this case, we're going to create a null and apply it to that. A null is basically what it means, a nothing object. So this thing has no mass or anything like that, but it can be used as a reference point, and you'll see the value of that as we go on. So we're going to call this null track running light uh, port change this up a little more yeah running light port like I was talking about naming your stuff logically I could either do this port running light starboard running light or running light port running light starboard and if there's going to be a lot of these you want to name them what they are and their direction or at least settle on one nomenclature throughout the whole thing that you're going to keep consistent so the tracking box is just like the stabilizing box and in this case we're going to track this nice dark spot against this nice bright spot. Trackers like big distinctions so dark on light, crisp corners which I suppose is dark on light as well 
definitive shapes, colors, and uh, pretty much everything on this ship is a good tracking box marker. Even these lights are pretty ideal. Something in here, not so good. Something in here, this will be difficult. So to track the three lights onto the front here, I may track off of this and see if there's much uh, offset at all. So let's get back here. If you have trouble tracking stuff, start at the back and track forward. Don't have to do it all the time, but uh, I found if you there's a if there's a, a lot of action going on, chances are your subject may wander in and out of camera. And scanning the footage first, of course, is your ideal. We've looked at this so many times now that you know what we're looking at. So there is some crazy movement over here which could throw the tracker off, but by then it's only the last few frames out of the whole thing. If it wobbled a lot towards the end in this region here, then what I would do is start from the back, work my way forward, and then possibly if that got really ugly, start from the front, work my way to the middle, and then join them up in between. So here we go with edit our target and make it the null track running port side options generally they're okay straight up in this case luminance is good because we're dealing with light versus dark I've got the enhance already set but let's turn that off because this is default sometimes sub pixel positioning bugs me but sometimes not it can be useful it can introduce extra noise but it's default on I want it to stop tracking if it falls below say 90 percent I want this nice and tight save your file as always and we are at the front lined up track so I've simplified the footage a lot recently so early on tracking and stabilizing took a while but it's also dependent on the size of your tracking box as well right now it looks like the box is kind of jittering but we'll only know if that's really true when we get to actual playback. It may be good enough. In this case, we'll have a blinking light. So half the time it's going to be off, half the time it's going to be on. Maybe the blink rate is different. Just for this example, I'll show you a simple on-off trick. And the track lasted, so let's take a look at it. Uh, so there's a couple in there that may bug me, but let's take a look at what's gonna, how it's gonna play out. So we'll apply this to the X and Y, so that's now on the null over here. And great, so we got this null. Let's see how much this moves around. set yes no all right ah uh, come on don't do that to me all right so uh i guess what we'll do here if you ever see something like this happen all right here we go so we'll close this down Alright, we'll close them all down. Let's, uh. Alright, so give me a second. I'll reboot, and we'll go from there. 